Hey everyone, welcome back to Net Plays Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, as you can already see in this video, I skipped ahead. We were, uh, last video I left off near that bottom left corner where the trans teleport room is at. Uh, I, all I did was just trek up back here towards the clock tower. I haven't visited the librarian yet. Uh, I really don't need to either. right now. I'm just heading towards the clock tower to the next area, which we'll, we'll be exploring, which is the Colosseum. Now someone in the comments asked me a question about this room coming up and to actually pull off the trick you do need the, the stop clock sub weapon to do this. Uh, this statue moves in conjunction with the clock. I believe it opens and closes every like minute or so. So uh, every time that changes this clock will move but this one will always stay closed unless you have the clock weapon. All you gotta do is use the clock weapon to move it to the right so you can access it. Now up here is actually some interesting uh, equipment. It's not your, it's not your real shield. I'll show you in a second. It's not a la carte sword or the shield or the breastplate. It's a la carte. And there's actually a cool little trick with this. And if you read all the descriptions too, it resembles a family sword. It is not, it is not the family sword. And let me show you what happens if you put on all of them. Resembles family shield. Now the thing is, once you put in all three of the items, notice how the luck, your luck stat goes up. It gives you plus 30 luck. Now the only reason that happens is you have to put all three of the equipment on to get the benefit. Now for instance, if I was to take off one of the shields or something, it, take, it takes out it takes off the extra luck status. Also, if you, once you equipped all three of those, if you go back to your your main screen, you could also look at his name is also changed. It's not Alucard anymore, it's Alucard. And if you look at his status, it's Alucard. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know why he changed his name, but apparently the Alucard status uh, gives you plus 30 luck. Now, of course, all these weapons resemble your first starting equipment, but it's not nearly as good. And plus, you don't have the, the sword lets you do a, a cool little spell effect, but it doesn't let you do it because it's not the real sword. So I'm gonna go ahead. I don't. It's good for the luck is good for when you're farming different items because uh, the luck depends on whether or not it has a good chance to drop or not. So that's why I guess it's a good thing to have when you start farming. And actually, I know the area I'm going in. I'm gonna get hit a lot, so I'm gonna need all the defense that I can. Stick to the fire sword. Now I hate to think that I have to wait a minute before this thing moves again. Yeah, because I think the stop clock only moves this one to the right. Guess while we're waiting, I'm gonna just use show you what some of the items do. Um, I'm gonna get. I, I like to get rid of things in my inventory that I don't really use all that much. I, I just that's just how I am. I I know I don't really use these peanuts. For instance, it's uh, difficult to eat and they're, they're a one-time use. Thing is, when you use them, they they flip up and you gotta try to catch. You gotta try to get under them to eat them. It, it is difficult to eat. See, it's it's not that. Yeah, I did not eat one of those. See, I just like to get rid of items that, that it's not even worth healing later on. Oh, and someone mentions if I farm off camera. I really don't do any farming off camera because I don't really farm off camera. Now, the only thing I do usually before I start recording is organize my inventory. I mean, I know there's a built-in feature where you can uh, organize it for you right here uh, but I don't like the way they organize it so that's why I don't really use it come on you know you want to move there you go ah. oh come on 
All right now, we'll get a waste of time. Now what we're actually going for in the Colosseum is the the form of mist. This will actually start letting us explore pretty much the entire castle at this point. And I forgot to put back a weapon on. Come on. This is actually uh, the next area we'll be exploring too after we get Form of Mist and fully explore the Coliseum. This is another boss area too, but he's he's further down the line. Nothing down here, so you can just scooch all the way down. Get some cheese, you get some other sellable item, and another broadsword. And yes, it is crappier than what you have right now. Well, let's see what it looks like. Same old, same old. I'm really going to miss the Ring of Aries in this part. I'll, I miss doing the 36 damage, but in this next area, you get you get bombarded with, with mobs. And it's best just to... I would probably die if I didn't have the... If I uh, kept the ring on. This is the Colosseum. Now here right off the bat you could go towards the boss fight, but actually like going down here. Cause this room has pretty much uh, all the sub weapons that you want. I'm looking for the dagger. I do believe there's a cloak in here as well. Uh, I don't think it's better than the this one, this enchanted cloak. I think it's more of a gimmick cloak, like a. I think it's a bloodstain cloak. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, blood cloak. Converts damage to hearts. Okay, I think uh, every time you get hit, uh, it should makes you gives you some hearts. So. Um, no out of defense, brings your constitution and luck down, so yeah, not gonna bother with it. Does look cool because it is like a, a dark or dark red. Let me show you just. Now we're gonna, I guess I'll head up towards the boss fight right now. Actually, you, act, you will see Richter for the first time in the castle. Oh, there's the form of mist. We can't reach it because we're not on the other side yet. I remember, I think it's a, yeah, there it is. Uh, once we get missed, we'll come back for that area. That area should have a holy sword, which is, of course, will damage uh, uh, undead better. I think it would be an upgrade to our current sword as well, because it would actually have bane damage. But we can't reach it yet. This should be the boss fight. <laughs> Who are you? Open Hell's Gate. Come forth, my servants. The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> This one just, uh, that's why I got the dagger. These guys aren't really nothing, they... Just more of a nuisance anyway. They, they, they react with each other, so that's why when you hit them, it kind of stuns them. As you can tell, I'm not really worried about this. 
Have you noticed every time I hit the Minotaur while it wrecked your time? I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. Yeah, every time you hit the Minotaur with a weapon or the the sub weapon, he kind of stuns them. That's why I went after him first, because he's more of the threat. And we got our form now. What was it? Yeah. It's a short little. Doesn't let you keep the form, but it actually starts letting you go past certain items. Let's go down. Try to get the shield rod. That's like one of the best weapons too. I know there's a whole lot of enemies in this area. This is why I took off the ring. Go go. Some say that the shield rod could possibly be the best weapon in the game uh, because whenever you have a shield equipped and use a shield rod, it uh, it brings out the power of that shield. Oh, what is it? I can't remember what the command was for the shield rod right now. Oh, that should be. Yeah, for instance, uh, you have to use, you have to press the shield button, the your attack button, and the shield button at the same time. Like this, uh, my current shield gives me protection from fire and thunder. Uh, let's see what the night one does. Uh, defense up. Uh, I think some shields don't do anything, like the Alucard shield, it's supposed to, it tries to do what the main one does, the real one does, but it, it, it fails. And last, uh, the leather one, I don't think this does anything. Whoa. Defense up, that's not that bad. All right, I'll head back up. All right, it's gonna be it for this video. In the next one, we're gonna explore the Coliseum a little bit more and start heading towards the other boss fight. Uh, until then, thanks for watching and peace out.